what saith the scriptures? As we continue through scripture, we find many narratives that define a 24-hour day beginning in the morning. The following are some of the most straightforward. Genesis chapter 1 verse 16. And Elohim made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. Please note, why would Yahweh start a day with a lesser light? Genesis chapter 1 verse 18. And to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. Note the order. Day, night, light, darkness. Genesis chapter 19 verse 33 to 34. So they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and lay with her father. And he was not aware of it when she lay down or when she arose. And it came to be on the next day that the firstborn said to the younger, See, I lay with my father last night. Note, the next day followed the night. Exodus chapter 10 verse 13 And Moshe stretched out his rod over the land of Mitzrayim, and Yahweh brought an east wind on the land all that day and all that night. Morning came, and the east wind brought the locusts. Note that that day belongs to that night. Then the morning came. Exodus chapter 16 verse 22 to 27 And it came to be on the sixth day that they gathered twice as much bread, two omers for each one. And all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moshe, and he said to them, This is what Yahweh has said. Tomorrow is a rest, a Sabbath kadosh to Yahweh. That which you bake, bake, and that which you cook, cook, and lay up for yourselves all that is left over to keep until morning. And they laid it up till morning, as Moshe commanded, and it did not stink, and no worm was in it. And Moshe said, Eat it today, for today is a Shabbat to Yahweh. Today you do not find it in the field. Gather it six days, but on the seventh day, which is the Shabbat, there is none. And it came to be that some of the people went out on the seventh day to gather, but they found none. Note that Yahweh said, Tomorrow was Shabbat. Then morning comes, and Moshe said, Eat it today, for today is a Shabbat. Exodus chapter 18 verse 13 And it came to be on the next day that Moshe sat to rightly rule the people, and the people stood before Moshe from morning until evening. Note that the next day starts in the morning. Exodus chapter 32 verse 5 and 6 And Aaron saw and built an altar before it, and Aaron called out and said, Tomorrow is a festival to Yahweh. And they rose early on the next day, and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings, and the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Note that Aaron said tomorrow is a festival and the next day they rose early. You don't rise at night. Leviticus chapter 6 verse 20 This is the offering of Aaron and his sons, which they bring near to Yahweh beginning on the day when he is anointed, one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour as a daily grain offering, half of it in the morning, and half of it at night. Note that the offering was to be brought to Yahweh in the morning, the beginning of the day. Leviticus chapter 7 verse 15 As for the flesh of the slaughtering of his peace offering for thanksgiving, it is eaten the same day it is offered. He does not leave any of it until morning. Here's the question. How can you eat your peace offering the same day and not leave any of it until morning if your day starts at night? Numbers chapter 11 verse 32 And the people were up all that day, and all that night, and all the next day, and gathered the quail, he who had least gathered ten omers, and they spread them out for themselves all around the camp. Note again that that day belongs to that night, then the next day comes. Joshua chapter 7 verse 6 to 13 And Joshua tore his garments, and fell to the earth on his face before the ark of Yahweh until evening both he and the elders of Israel, and they put dust on their heads. And Yahweh said to Yahushua, Rise up, why are you lying on your face? Rise up, Kadosh the people, and you shall say, Kadosh yourselves for tomorrow, because thus said Yahweh Elohim of Israel, that which is under the ban is in your midst. 
Note that it was already evening when Yahweh told Yehoshua to kadosh themselves for tomorrow, so the day cannot begin in the evening. Judges chapter 19 verse 9 And the man arose to go, he and his concubine and his servant. But his father-in-law, the young woman's father, said to him, See, the day is now drawing toward evening. Please spend the night, see the day is coming to an end. Stay here and let your heart be glad, and you shall rise early tomorrow for your journey, and you shall go to your tent. Note, rising early tomorrow implies the start of the day being morning. You will never see the words in Scripture, early at night. Samuel chapter 9, verse 19 to 26. And Shemuel answered Shaul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me to the high place, for you shall eat with me today. And tomorrow I shall let you go and make known to you all that is in your heart. And they rose early, and it came to be about the dawning of the day that Shemuel called to Shaul on the roof, saying, Rise, so that I send you on your way. Note that rising early at the dawning of the day again equates the start of the day being in the morning. 1 Samuel chapter 19, verse 10 to 11 And Shaul sought to smite the spear through David and into the wall, but he slipped away from the presence of Shaul, so he smote the spear into the wall. And David fled and escaped that night. And Shaul sent messengers to David's house to watch him and to put him to death in the morning. And Michal, David's wife, informed him, saying, If you do not save your life tonight, tomorrow you are put to death. Note that it was already night when Michal told David to flee in the morning, for tomorrow he was to be killed, so a day cannot begin at evening. 1 Samuel chapter 28 verse 8 to 19 And Shaul disguised himself and put on other garments and went, he and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night. And he said, Please divine for me and bring up for me the one I shall name. So he said, Bring up Shemuel for me. Then Shemuel said, Why do you ask me, seeing Yahweh has turned aside from you and has become your enemy? Further, Yahweh also gives Israel with you into the hand of the Pelishites. And tomorrow you and your sons are with me. Yahweh also gives the army of Israel into the hand of the Pelishites. Note that if Shaul came at night and they were to fight with the Philistines tomorrow, how could the day begin at night? 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 17 And David smote them from twilight until evening of the next day, and none of them escaped except 400 young men who rode on camels and fled. Note that if a day were from evening to evening, the scriptures would not have to read the next day. Second Samuel chapter 24, verse 13 to 15. Gad then came to David and informed him, and he said to him, Should seven years of scarcity of food come to you in your land, or would you flee three months before your enemies, while they pursue you? Or should there be three days plague in your land? Now know and see what answer I take back to him who sent me. And David said to Gad, I am in great trouble. Please let us fall into the hand of Yahweh, for his compassion is great, but do not let me fall into the hand of a man. And Yahweh sent a plague upon Israel from the morning till the appointed time. And from Dan to Beersheba, 70,000 men of the people died. Note that the three-day plague started in the morning, not at night. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 22 The kindnesses of Yahweh, for we have not been consumed, for his compassions have not ended. They are new every morning. Great is your trustworthiness. Note that new every morning, because morning is a new day. Jonah chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 And Yahweh Elohim appointed a plant and made it come up over Jonah to be a shade for his head to deliver him from his discomfort. And Jonah greatly rejoiced over the plant. But as morning dawned, the next day, Elohim appointed a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. Note that a morning starts the next day. Zechariah chapter 14 verse 7 And it shall be one day which is known to Yahweh, neither day nor night, but at evening time there shall be light. Note a 24-hour day is mentioned here, with the day preceding the night. Thank you.